Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to take care of a content request and spend some time showing you how I fine-tune BBC Symphony Orchestra to work effectively with my complete keyboard. I have Complete Control Standalone open together with the BBC SO plugin and the violin preset loaded. As you can see on the virtual keyboard, the articulation keys are nowhere to be seen. However, if I adjust the octave setting to minus 2, there they are, and of course this is also the case on my S88 keyboard. Now this of course is not a good solution, since shifting the keyboard view over two octaves pushes the upper end of the violin note range off the other end of the keyboard. But at least Spitfire provides a solution for customizing your settings to suit your keyboard, and so let's get to it. After you open the expanded view, you can see a keyboard symbol on the right side. If it is locked, unlock it. Now mouse hover over the symbol and left click and hold. With the left click button still pressed, simply move the mouse right and you can see the articulation keys move with it. And if you run out of room moving your mouse, just release the mouse button and repeat the process again. Once you place the articulation keys where you want them, and release the mouse button, press one of the new key locations on your complete keyboard, and this will update your keyboard light guide accordingly. Now you can't overwrite your original instrument patches, and so you can save your changes to a new user preset with the same name. You then access your custom patches in the user section. And if you star them, you can access them more easily after that. Note that you can't access your custom presets from the orchestral section overhead view, as this only loads the original patches. So to summarize, if you load the original instrument presets, you are back with the same problem. But once you save and then load a user preset with the relocated articulation keys, you will always have the articulation keys at your fingertips. And as always, if you found this tip helpful to your workflow, then please support the channel by liking the video and subscribe if you feel like it. See you next time.